This is Chase from East Coast Gear Supply. We're working on the Toyota 8 inch clamshell with the needle bearing. We're going to install the bushing and use a special service tool uh, that we just designed. Hopefully you can get a good look at what's going on. If this doesn't work, we're going to do uh, a bench mounted diff video just so you can see a little bit more clearly. This is a look at the tool, and here's the piece that actually drops into the carrier. It's machined so it drops in between the spider gear and the needle bearing, and then you thread into this, which is tapped for a half 13, uh, and then you just pull it out. So we'll see how this goes. It's probably a good idea to stick something down in the carrier inside the spider gear so if the tool does go too far you can get it out. I used some cellophane that I had sitting here uh, but you can use a paper towel or something like that. Then when you're installing the piece that goes into the carrier you're going to want to use a magnet. This tool's a really tight fit, so you might have to just give it a little whack to get it to seat behind the needle bearing. There we go. Now you thread the tool into it. This plate sits against the carrier and then the nut will pull against the plate to pull the needle bearing out. You have to make sure that the tool is centered um, in the needle bearing and it's not pulling on the actual carrier. If it's positioned right, 
the needle bearing should pull right out. The needle bearing's coming out. If uh, this piece is spinning, you could double nut this uh, so that it won't spin. Because obviously, if this is spinning, then the needle bearing's not coming out. But typically, you don't have to double nut it because it should slide out pretty smooth. There you have it. There's a undamaged needle bearing. You can see the tool. So it works. Pulls it right out. Pull out whatever you put in the carrier. Now you're ready to install the bushing. You can wipe out this journal. Uh, of course you could drain the diff would probably be a good idea and um, remove the seal, put a fresh seal in it. We re-geared this diff not long ago and this is a new seal and actually with the tool uh, there's no damage to it but I'm going to go ahead and put a new seal in it anyways but I'll go ahead and install the bushing so that you guys can see it. This is the new bushing. There's a lip on one side and this actually protects the bushing. It's inside a sleeve. You'll notice one side has a protected metal on it and the other side is open. Uh, there's two reasons for this. One, for installation you can hit against here and not damage the bushing. Uh, and two, this uh, ID is just slightly smaller than the bushing. So if this bushing was to wear it would hit metal on metal and then you would know fairly quickly that you would need to replace this bushing. Um, we don't foresee uh, the bushing really needing to ever be replaced. It really should last the life of the truck.
You want to make sure it's square when you're putting it in. And that's pretty much it. Install your CV shaft back, uh, check the diff fluid oil, and see what you got.